technology tidal wave, it's not that it's coming. It is here and it is an amazing wave that we can all ride. When I say terms like democratizing data, what does that mean to you? Well, joining us on the show, he's the CEO of Innoplexus, Gunjin Bahardwaj joins us on the show. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for inviting me. So you have one heck of a story on what brought you to Innoplexus, where you're the CEO. I want to talk a little bit about that story, democratizing data, what you mean. So how did this all come together? So my first mentor, my first boss, and a very dear friend when I started working in Germany, he called me one late evening and he told me that he was diagnosed with cancer. That was the first moment wherein I truly felt helpless and hopeless in my life. Mm -hmm. A lot of days where I would uh, spend in the office, instead of being in the office, were spent along his bedside in the hospital close to Frankfurt. What year was this? It was about. around 2008. Okay. I, um, I asked him, why do you believe this doctor? Uh, whatever he's saying, can we get a second opinion? So for a specific kind of tumor, who would be the key opinion leader in Europe, in Germany, whom we could ask a second opinion from? What are the alternatives to the therapy he's suggesting you should undertake? Or there were many immunotherapy um, ideas um, at that point in time. Are there centers that are doing studies in Europe uh, with certain Im immunotherapies for that kind of a tumor? Sure. We tried everything, searched on the internet, uh, talked to cancer societies, no answer. And that's when we decided we need to create a system which would enable a patient, not just a high net worth individual in a developed society, but anybody be able to search what alternatives he or she can have. Sure. A physician, not just in an MD Anderson or a Sloan Kettering, but also a smaller hospital in Germany, in Singapore, in China, in India, have access to the same insights that a physician practicing in a larger center would have. Okay. A small biotech company from a Stolberg Valley in Germany, from a French city, from an Indian uh, biotech cluster should have access to similar insights that uh, heavily funded biotechs would have. So the idea was to democratize data and to create a level playing field for innovation. For what do you everybody. mean when you say democratize data? Technology is a great equalizer. If you look at data and insights today, the entire process uh, depends on manual annotation because the data volumes are exploding. You need uh, thousands of analysts sit there, manually curate and annotate this data, right. which is sold at a very high premium uh, to companies that need that, hospitals as well as patients in, uh, in some cases. Is there a way that we could automate this data annotation curation process. And if we can do that, we can provide these insights at a very cost-effective price point to everybody. And if we have that, you can, uh, you can provide access to everything that's available in the published digital universe. So this is what Innoplexus does. Exactly. OK. Now, we're speaking here today so far about the medical field. Are we confined to just medicine? We tried this stack uh, and its application to other industries, in chemical industry, in financial services, mm -hmm. and this works equally well in other industries as well. So quickly, give me an example. Like, take it to the finance world. So what I'm hearing is somebody, and correct me if I'm wrong, is looking for financial advice. They talk to a financial advisor, just like your mentor talked to a doctor. Who's to say the advice he's giving you is tailored for what your specific short and long-term goals are? Maybe there's a way, a way to gather data and have a better plan. Is that mm -hmm. fair? So give, give me an example in the finance sector. So uh, think of a lending institution sure. in a country like Germany. For all the publicly listed companies, you have all the information. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, it's mandatory to share that information and so on. What about small and medium enterprises? Uh, all the national newspapers, if uh, the CEO or a board member of a small and medium enterprise has a problem, if they are building new plants, that information doesn't come in the largest newspaper of the country. That comes in local newspapers. Sure, yeah. Uh, local courts. Uh, could there be a way to get this information on all the small and medium enterprises? Whatever is in there in the news, whatever customers talk in co consumer forums, 
uh, logs, uh, courts, insolvency registers together at one place to create kind of a pre-rating engine to, to get a lending institution an idea of what uh, the credit rating could look like. Mm -hmm. So you're democratizing data and you're creating a different kind of marketplace. Absolutely. Um, not just from a published universe perspective, we are trying to solve with a new launch a very, very important problem uh, for the well-being of patients. If you look at science, uh, science is also chasing not the well-being of patients when, I'm, uh, when we talk of uh, life science, uh, but a higher number of publications and high-impact factor journals. Nobody shares data on failed experiments. Um, so there would be three universities trying the same experimental protocol when they have all failed. Mm. Uh, but nobody shares that information. Successful experiments, only the publications exist. And these publications take 18 to 24 months to come in really highly reputed journals. Um, we have created, using blockchain and AI, a new platform that would enable sharing not just published information on the web, but also information that's sitting in research institutes. Absolutely fascinating. I wish I had more time with you, to be honest with you. So if people want to learn more about what you have going on, crunchbase.com, Inoplexus, you are the CEO, so you are the leader. It sounds like you're really solving societal problems. I'd love to have you on the show again. Thank you so much for sharing that with us here today. Such a pleasure. Thank All you. All right. Hope you enjoyed that one. We'll be posting this online if you want to comment on social media. More of the American Dream coming up next.